Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jordan, and welcome back to Dishonored. So, this should be the final episode of this series. So, today, we have to go and go into the sewers, I think, to get... Oh, I fell in the water. To get access to, um, I don't know, some, like, a gas cap or something. I don't know. I just remember this part specifically because of the Brigmore witches. This is where you actually finally get to meet them. And I really like them. Oh, and here's the trap. So that girl right there is a Brigmore witch. And if you go and talk to her, she tries to kill you and you get ambushed by a bunch of other Brigmore witches. Okay, so we need to take care of this girl. But if we do, it triggers an ambush. So I don't really remember how we can actually take care of her. Uh, let's go here. And then we'll just choke her out, I guess. Grab her. And then teleport away with her, I guess. So yeah, she is a Brigmore Witch. Cool, so we got her dealt with. Drink one of those, I guess. We kind of wasted a lot of mana there, but that's okay. Uh, I think there's another one through here, and she's going to be talking to Delilah. Okay, so she's going to be doing something with, I'm assuming, Elizabeth, because that's the only girl I know of. Oh, and there she goes. Probably should have taken care of her, but who cares. Okay, we got two people up here we got to take care of. We'll bend time. Run up on them. Hit you. Hit you. And then hide here. Beautiful, we got both of them, I think. Yes, we did. <laughs> Good. I won't lie, that took a few attempts to do, but that's okay. Uh, anything over here of value to us? Health potion, uh, grenade, not really useful. Looks to be two more, so let's just cut them off mid-conversation and go boop. And then go boop, and we'll hide over here. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Now we can take you to over here. I can almost guarantee you there is more of them somewhere, but we'll just deal with these two first. Both of them are dealt with. Now let's go up here, take our gas cap, and get the hell out of here. I need to find a wrench. What the hell? Uh, tell me the wrench is going to be down with these weepers. It's definitely going to be down with the weepers. Who am I kidding? Grab this. Oh no, the wrench is right there. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. This is just for a bone charm. I don't even need the bone charm. Uh, we will knock out you because you're going to get in the way if I don't. Sorry, miss. You can take a nice little nap. Cool, and then we can go right back up here and turn back on the water flow. Ooh, a thing I need. Oh, there's a body fucking blocking the wheel. I forgot about that. Oh my god. Oh no, it's just these people. Or like these little weeds. Get him down. Cool. While I'm here, I'll grab that bone chair. Might as well. Might lead me to something anyways, so. Okay. And boom! Beautiful! Oh my god. Good thing I stood back. <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh, buddy. Take your key. Is there a rune somewhere? I thought there was a bone charm somewhere. Oh, it's over through here. Eh, I don't care enough. Well, we accidentally went the right way, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so we got the combination for the safe or like the engine room area. Um, I believe there is like a way to save Mr. Hat, because if I remember correctly, the guy that's like speaking for him is like artificially keeping him alive or something. Uh, to gain his own power. I could be making this up, but I have vague memories of something like that. 
Um, but I don't fully remember how to do that, so I'm not going to mess with it and ruin our chances of not being seen or killing anybody. So we're just going to take the uh, gas cap and leave, or whatever the hell this is, engine coil. I'm not going that way. We'll go the other way. Cool, so now we got to go bring this engine coil to... Um, was her name Lizzie? And then she will take us to Delilah's Manor or whatever, and that will lead us into the final act of this game. Cool, so as I just found out and had to reload, when you put this engine coil on, you get ambushed by a bunch of Brigmore witches. So we're going to have to be very quick with Ben time here. Um, instantly use that, and then run our ass down here so we can make our next plan okay repel the brigmore witches i mean i'm gonna let them do that and then i will come back afterwards because i'm sure these people can deal with uh deal with them right <laughs> oh god how many brigmore witches are there Okay, at least we got a save point that we can reference. Ooh, there's gold back here. People are dying upstairs and I'm just looting down here. Uh, well, it looks like we repelled them. Yes, good work, everybody. I did my part, too. I didn't hide like a coward in the, the bowels of the ship or anything. Oh, my God, I fell off the ship. There we go. We're setting sail, right? Engine throttle. We're setting sail. Hell yeah, let's go. Say less, let's get to that manor. Now, the age-old question, did we get seen? Did we kill anybody? <laughs> Hell yeah, neither of which we did. I mean, we let a couple people die, but hey man, they deserved it. So, these skulls are actually dogs that, um, that spawn if you get too close to them. I don't think breaking the skull counts as a kill. If it does, whatever, but hey man. The one thing I don't understand is we have all these assassins. Why am I the only one assaulting this base? Like, why why are we not going full force? I know we were kind of hurt because of the, uh, the overseers and everything. But, I mean, come on now. Let's go see what's in our cache before we, uh, we head out. Uh, we got a rune and a mana potion. It's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Yeah, he just got back up. I know. I remember how to kill the hounds. I remember fucking, like, 14-year-old me, or whatever, however old I was, getting very upset because I thought those hounds were a bunch of barnacles. Uh, can I get bend time, too, for the longer distance? No. I can't. Or not bend time. Blink, too. Cool. So now I can actually get farther. I, I should not be just going at this so carelessly, but it's okay. Oh my god, that was close. Well, I actually need to get inside the estate somehow. I can get on the roof. Oh my god. Sorry about that, ladies. Um, At least I know you're there now. So, now that I know those two are there, we can do a little cheeky... Uh, Bend time, jump up, and a boop, and a boop. Beautiful. Took two people out on the rooftops. There we go. Okay, so apparently we need to go find the key, so let's, uh, let's, let's meme around out here for a little bit and see if we can't find somebody with a the key. There's three people over there. There's got to be a way to get in. Uh, are there any people down here? Doesn't appear to be. Oh my god, there's one of these things, though. Die, die. I don't know if killing you counts as a death, but you're dying. Because you're gross. Heavy lever. Okay, and some elixirs. Take that. Neutralize. Okay. Cool, so we got a graveyard thing. I like that. I don't know what it's for, but apparently there's something over here we can use it on, so let's go see what that is. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll be like an an ulterior way of getting into the manor. This person just not gonna move? I mean, okay. <laughs> Hell of a guard you are there, lady. 
I guess she thought she was safe, considering she had this to guard her, but she also just left a window open, so... I mean, that wasn't very smart of her, but that's okay. Made for an easy takedown for me. I don't know what's down here, but sure. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There's rats. There's rats down here. Oh, God. Please, no. Come on, now. Jesus Christ. Whew, that was almost bad. Anyway... Bring more manor. Beautiful, we made it in. I'm glad that all worked out. Oh god, now where do we gotta go? Uh, let's see. These two got anything interesting to say? I'm glad I found Is the painting of Beautiful. Okay, so we got... We gotta find her studio. Okay, so that was useful. I bet you it's over this way. Uh-oh. That was almost bad. Don't notice me. Nothing here but us pickles. Uh, up here we go. Beautiful. There are so many traps, but an easily, like, climbable solution to them, so sure. I don't know what this lantern is, but we're gonna take it, because it seems useful. Strange lantern. Cool. I don't know what it's for, but we got it. I am just... On impulse, looting all of their stuff, and I really don't need to. Okay, we need the West Wing key. It's like fucking Beauty and the Beast all of a sudden. Don't go in the West Wing! Uh... Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know how the hell we made that jump. Jesus Christ. That was a far jump. Oh my god, it's putting me right here. Jesus. I just reloaded my save. Oh, there's a person right here. That's what's happening. Whew! Okay, that was, that was, that was weird. I didn't like that. <laughs> it auto-saved me. I messed up a bit and it auto-saved me, um, right in the, like, the worst place, like, right when I bend time. Everything needs a fucking key. I'm gonna start blasting down doors if I don't find this goddamn key sooner or later. Oh, no. He started yelling. Oh, no. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. How did she not see me? What the fuck? Ma'am, are you okay? Do you need your eyesight checked? Like, what the hell was that? Oh, you're gonna pay the price for that one, sweetheart. He's talking. He's loud. And, yeah, there's people everywhere, dude. Like, chief, there's like four witches around here. Oh, my God. Why are there so many? Okay, that one's through a wall. I don't need to worry about those two. These two on the other end, they're going to be an issue. We're going to plink you. And then we're going to reload and plink you. Don't you fall. Don't you fall. No! Oh, is she dead? She's dead. This time, that lady's not going to die. We're going to save both of them. Because I am a redeemer. Interesting concept. So the cold one... Okay, so Emily is important. I was right in saying that. Oh, okay, we got two witches here. Let's uh, plink you. And then... Don't you turn around. Don't you turn around. Thank you. Beautiful. I like her little, like, fancy hat. I don't know what those are called, but I don't think it's a top hat. But it's nice. Okay. Yeah, I figured there was going to be another one. Let's get up here. Jesus Christ, that was close. Uh, we're going to bend time and run past them, because I feel like knocking them out probably isn't the right idea here. Um, just keep going, just keep going, just keep moving on, moving on. Just keep moving, moving on. How did we get by all of those people, Jesus Christ? Again, I don't know why I'm stealing stuff. I don't really need anything anymore, but sure. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, well, it's gonna pain you more when I knock the both of you out in a second here. Uh, we're gonna go boop, and then... Well, maybe I should listen to them, actually. Put her ring on you. 
I see. Okay, it was a good thing I did decide to listen to them. So those statues are her, and if I walk too close to them, they gonna see me. I am very glad that I did that and waited and was a smart boy for once. And we'll grab you and knock your ass out too. Thank you, women. So I remember how to neutralize her. If I remember correctly, you have to get like another painting and swap it out with the painting of uh, whatever her name is, Emily. And I think the other painting is somewhere there. Um, I don't think it's in the house anywhere. If it is, I'll come back and get it so we don't have to kill her. And we can neutralize her. But I think it's in this little painting world she's in right now. Okay, so now we need to get her painting. Last time I tried this, it didn't work out so well. So this time, we need to actually be smart about it. And not just do it right in front of her. I didn't think the AI was going to realize it. But, hey, smarter than I thought it was. Cool, so we got it. I just don't know when I have to switch it. Delilah, what you up to? Any thoughts on when I need to do this this ritual? Find Delilah's... Okay, neutralize. Kill Delilah Copperspoon. I'm not gonna kill her. Replace the painting of Emily. Yeah, but I did that last time and I got yelled at. Okay, now turn your back. Good, Delilah. Good. Now we can switch the paintings. Beautiful. Good. Okay. So essentially what we're doing now, instead of her being put into Emily's body, we just uh, switched it. And now she will be trapped in the void forever. Man, this is cringe. I feel so bad for her. But, you know, it'd be like that. Delilah really got the short stick in life, and we'll learn about that if we ever do Dishonored 2, so. But yeah, that's her taken care of, I hope. And non-lethally, too. I like that Dowd actually got an opportunity to save Emily. Like, it shows, like, if you choose this one instead of killing her, it really feels like Dowd is, like, an actual, like, decent person. Sure, he murders people, but, like, he's also not that bad. I don't understand if she's this powerful why she wants to take Emily. I understand why I've played the second game. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't. But, like, if she's this powerful and the city is this bad, why not just fucking kill her? Well, later. Lol. Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked, scrub. You're becoming nothing. You're going to go get sucked into the void. Bye. See you in Dishonored 2. I don't actually know how she gets out of the painting in Dishonored 2, but, you know, we won't worry about that. And that's not a spoiler, by the way, because I'm pretty sure you can see her in, like, the trailers for the game or something. And if not, I apologize. But, hey, we rescued Emily. And we didn't kill anybody, nor did we ever get seen. Hell yeah. No one will ever cool. Yep. I've learned that our choices always matter. They do. To someone. Everything you do in your life matters, even if it's something stupid. Exactly. Come back to us. I like it. He's facing Corvo. He's accepting it. Even though in our playthrough, we never even saw... Dow didn't even see us. Indeed you did. And in turn, you saved the Empire. Good. Do we get like a little ending scene? Oh, Cool. And I'm assuming da uh, Corvo's now going to spare us because we didn't see this because I didn't actually fight him. I just stole a key. So this is what happens if you fight him.
I've had enough killing. And because it's cool to see Corvo's face. I like that. I like his mask too. You make an eloquent and because we did low chaos, we get to live. Nah, not really. These last days, you passed through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out on the Indeed. Outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation. I, I mean, we literally j just switched a painting. Like, we didn't really outwit her. She was just dumb and overconfident. Like, I don't make doubt out to be a genius. Uh, we'll have to find out in Dishonored 3, Death of the Outsider, which I've also never beaten. I've only beaten this game. Never actually beaten the other two. Cool, he let me live. Bye, Corvo. I'll miss you. See you in the next game. Oh my god, his legs were glitching through that coat. <laughs> we're not gonna worry about that. This game's great. Well... That's about all the time we have left for today. Man, when I first made my first episode of this Dishonored game, I never thought we were actually going to ever do an entire series with the DLC fully through to the end, but I'm actually really glad I did. You know, I never really want my channel to be about full playthroughs unless they're games I'm 100% passionate about, because... I, I don't know, I just, I don't find that interesting, personally, to just sit here and watch video after video of the same game, always. I have a very short attention span, I'll be honest, I like playing a bunch of different games all together, but I was really passionate about this game, and it's nice to see that people actually enjoyed it and, uh, and were watching it, so I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, as for Dishonored 2 and uh, Dishonored 3, Death of the Outsider, um, I don't know if I'm going to play them right right away. It's definitely not going to be right away because I'll be honest, I never beat those games. I wasn't ever really a big, huge fan of them. I didn't really like them as much. Um, they weren't as fun. There's something different about them. Nevertheless, though, if you want to see them... Uh, let me know in the comments down below, maybe later down the line when I've got some more free time. I'll do a playthrough on Dishonored 2 would be the logical one to go next in chronological order. But nevertheless, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this series and you're enjoying the content I'm putting out, uh, think about leaving a like and subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. I really appreciate all the support I've gotten so far and it's really nice to see... Uh, especially right now while I'm going through these stressful times of trying to do my master's degree and do YouTube and work and all that fun stuff all at once. It's nice to see the support. It's nice to get to talk to people and, you know, have a good time. But again, thank you all so very much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day.